show time from the sender A, which could be the client, to B, which could be the server. And this line that we draw across here from the client to the server or the sender to the receiver, the rate of that line and how far it moves is fixed at the speed of light. Or around about there, the fiber electromagnetic wave propagation. Now, if we're doing TCP, what we know is that uh, there's a three-way handshake shape to start with, isn't there? Yeah? So it will send something like a, a, a SIN packet. It will get back uh, a SIN ACK. The SIN is I want to make a connection. The SIN ACK is uh, I accept that connection. Uh, if we want to look at more detail, it might have a segment number or sequence number uh, equals, let's say, <coughs> 3. It may say a window size. This will respond with an ACK uh, 24. And it might also, that why ACK 24? You can't see the 24 very well there. Expecting 24. Because it's expecting 24 back when it goes back again. It might add its own sequence number, which might start at 0, and it might also have a window size uh, for itself to, to say how far it's gone. Then what will happen is there will be uh, an ACK1 from here coming back to say that it has seen that it's got sequence number in its technology. Then the rest of the communications can take place. We've got a three-way handshake. Now, when the communications are taking place, there's two bits of time. If our distance, let's, turn the, let's, do, it, let's do it slightly different like that, sideways on so we can see it. If our distance is relatively short, and that's the, the time it takes, then our round trip time is going to be that much round trip time. If the distance is a long way, then at that same rate, it's going to take much longer, and the round trip time is going to be a much longer time. Yeah? That's the round trip time. Go back to this one, because the next thing that happens is our speed, uh, or our data rate down the wire or what might be called the bandwidth. So if I'm sending a packet and my bandwidth is quite a high bandwidth, then the speed or the rate at which it takes to send that packet or segment will be that distance there. And the reason I'm showing this is I want to show what might happen if we use a slower or a faster uh, communication channel. There may be, we've not shown this before, some processing time. And if this is a server, it might be that it takes a little while to process that before an acknowledgement comes back. I'll, on this one, I'll show it. And this is processing time in the server. And then an acknowledgement will come back to say, I've got it. Or it may send an acknowledgement back very quickly, but it takes time to process before it sends back the information that you've requested. And if you've got a window of four, then this device at the other side, device B, might well send four at once, knowing that you've said you can receive four when you did the three-way handshake, and it will send that before it expects the acknowledgement back to say that it's got that fourth one with the sequence number in there, and then it will send the next four. So if we did the same thing over a slower line, that instead of trying to draw the lines at a different slope, what would happen is, if we go from a fast line to a slow, slower line, then that's the same size of data as we had on the previous one. The same size, but it takes a lot longer to get the bits out. And it might be that the first bit has arrived here before the last bit has even been sent. And that's because the time of travel from one end to the other is the same, but it's taking a lot longer because it's a slower rate of sending. So this is our S and R combination. Out. 
segment size and our rate of sending. Yeah. And then, if we're sending some back, what you can see is that it's, it, I can't show the fourth one, I'm not enough room on the paper, but you get the picture. So now, the round trip time is the same because the distance is the same, so it doesn't vary because we've used a slower line, but the rate at which we can send the same amount of data varies because the data has been sent at a slower rate down that line because the bandwidth is lower. And so when we're looking at how something behaves, uh, we've got to identify what is the round trip time, but then depending on your link speed, your link bandwidth, which might be called, how long it would take to send that packet down the line. So that's just that clarification for those bits of time. Uh, and we'll do some tutorial examples. Uh, the reason I want to clarify that is because I did show some diagrams before where the lines were shown at a different angle. Um, and that was wrong because the angle at which those lines go across is controlled by uh, propagation properties. It's the propagation and the time it takes is propagation time rate, which is close to speed of light, and the distance that it has to travel. So it's affected by the distance. <coughs> Does that make sense? Any questions before we turn the video on? Does that make sense? It's all right. We may not put it on YouTube. Put it in private, maybe. Put it your Twitter account. Pardon? Put it your Twitter account. Actually, send it to Twitter account. Yeah? yeah?